it's monday the sun is shining i am just tired now don't actually feel that bad but i am still keeping warm and not really doing a lot uh, the lads have been out with this because they've been sewing this morning and one of the headlands is quite wet so they've just been in, swept up the road where they've pulled out We'll probably go up in the buggy now and have a quick look actually what they've done. Andrew now I think is going to drop the drill off and put the fertiliser spreader on because we've got that new screen put in it the other week but we need to make sure that it's still got its memory otherwise we've got to do a full calibration of everything. We always check it with the test kit but it generally can remember the different products of fertiliser so we've just got to check that it still will. So um, he's just dropping the other drill off now to try that and we'll put it on and see. You can see on the tyres just how wet it's been, where he's just been finishing off. So we'll, we'll go up in the buggy and have a look. This shed's getting a bit empty now as well. We need to move that barley over and we can get some fertiliser in that corner because the fertiliser that we need first is at the back of the shed and the fertiliser that, that's in the way is the stuff that we need later on in the year that's got the coating on it. So got to just shuffle it all around a bit. This is the field Andrew's just drilled now. It's pretty dry in the middle as you can see it's uh, got a bit of a mat of, of weed seeds on which has obviously allowed him to travel a bit easier so it's just the headlands just a bit wet along there especially that corner mainly because I don't think that road drain works properly but as a whole centre's not too bad at all Ideally, though, could have done with these volunteers of OSR bits of grass weed and chickweed spraying off perhaps before he drilled it. But of course, I've, I've not been well and he just come to try it, it worked and he's done it. So, what we'll do is we'll put a pre pre emergence perhaps on it with some glyphosate mixed in. Can you see, is it still? So yeah, we'll glyphosate over the top of it. That should kill the green stuff. And then we should just have, hopefully the wheat coming through is the plan. This is the last field, I think, of, of winter wheat we wanted to get in. So if this grows and the others, that he, the one he did yesterday and the one he did on, sorry, the one he did last week on Friday and patched up a little bit on this morning. If they all grow, then we'll have got all the wheat in that we intended, which is pretty good. There's just one field left that's where the sunflowers were, whether we put winter wheat into that or spring wheat or spring barley not decided yet it's not going to be sunflowers there's too much hassle with them flowering when we're busy at harvest so we're not going to bother with them this year i don't know if you can see but this was quite crumbly now so this was sumoed ready to sow in the autumn but we never got on it was far too wet but the frost broken the soil up quite nice because of the way it was left Yeah, this is the field of sunflowers now. Totally been eaten by by the birds and everything. So, what do we put in it? Do we put beans into it? Just drill it straight in. Do we put wheat in? Do we put spring barley in? Or do we put spring wheat in? And if, if it ends up being a wet season next year, if we harvest this and keep it separate, we've got some spring wheat variety seed that we can use. I don't know. We'll uh, add up the bean acreages and see perhaps. Robber's given this, what, a full service? Without changing oil filters, yeah, yeah. So, basically, giving it them a damn good grease. Clean, Clean grease, valid. Tight pressure, check over. Done. The, uh, That's in, it's in the, it's either in there or it's in the workshop, that mirror, the pickup pitch. The um, it's in a cardboard box. Yeah, he's giving it a good going over because you couldn't really see out the windows the other day because it had wood chips stuck to it. Andrew's got the spreader on now, but it has lost its memory, so, which is quite annoying. Um, so we're going to have to use the app on my phone to find the right fertiliser, put all the credentials in, and then that should be near enough, and then we can tray test it then and see how it's going to work. Just making sure it's got the right set of blades programmed into it because you can change them by pressing that button. I think it's 3244, Andrew's just checking. EVI 44. Yeah, EV 3244, right. And then we want to tell it the width, which is, we've just got on the app, which has told us what fertilizer. So we set it to 141, so hopefully that should be pretty close. And then we also tell it 
T factor, which is that, which the app tells us as well, which is how fast it'll flow, but it will automatically do it when we start spreading anyway. So hopefully we're right there now. We're just out on the grass field now, just testing everything before we put any fertilizer in it. Probably won't be spreading until tomorrow, to be honest, because it's, it's starting to go dark. But just make sure that everything's gonna work, it's gonna turn on and off and everything, especially as if the box has been repaired. Yeah, it's a good job we're checking because we've got no speed reading coming off this screen into that screen, so it must be something wrong in the settings. Ian's just uh, dropped me the birthday bumper. He's done the birthday bumper while me and Andrew have been messing with the spreader. We did just have to ring Richard up from Rico because it, not only did it lost its memory for the fertiliser, it lost its memory for remembering how to sit, read the GPS data that was coming into it. Anyway, within two minutes, less than that, minute and a half on the phone, just press this, try that, da -da 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 -da, and it magically working now, which is good. It means we're not doing it with a full uh, hopper full of fertiliser. So. Hopefully we're all good for this week. Just had to put my hat on for this. Bit cold today, isn't it? We have Jack Phillips is 20. Luke Sanders is the big 4-0. Jack Gray, happy birthday to you. Alfie Grant is 8. Gary Mason is 60 tomorrow. Or indeed today if you're watching in the morning. Howard Baines, happy birthday to you. Barry Wilson is 56. Melanie Jane, Sarah Harrison, Ben Lowe, happy birthday to you. And Zoe Blower is 48. We have raised so far. £25,497. Where's the phantom rounder upper when you need them? Get you on myself. <laughs> What's your farm, Andrew? <laughs> Andrew says the agitator's not working. So when I just looked underneath now, the bolt for the agitator up there to that hole, there's no bolt in it, so the bolt's come out. that'll be why it's not working so again another good job that we checked before we filled it up with fertilizer so that's sky amazing just found a knot now and a bolt so we'll tighten that up and hopefully that should start working Indeed. yesterday from his sick bed i was looking at the sunset anyway today from the yard it's just as good and the pictures all over facebook and instagram were full of sunset pictures yesterday so it's nice to be outside and appreciate it I found a bolt, but then Andrew actually found the correct one and dropped inside the guard down there. So we've put that back on now with a new nylon nut. It's stainless steel as well, so that should be good. So now the agitator, you can see it working up and down. When I spin that, probably not, because it's not it's doing it too slow. But anyway, at least they're working now. Put that back in the shed now and then tomorrow morning we'll try it and hopefully it should be working alright. Anyway, that is about all for today. The boiler's just text saying that there's something in the drop zone, so Rob's just gonna walk across there now somewhere. Ooh, yeah, no. There he is, shadowy figure walking across the yard. He's just gonna go now and see what's wrong with the boiler, sort that out. Anyway, thanks for watching today, and I will see you all tomorrow.